and we are looking at the latest laptop entering the market. This is the Avita offering the Lieber laptop. Lieber does offer great mobility. It does not compromise on its metallic body and it's pretty thin because the thinnest part is only 5mm in length and the weight is pretty light. It's 1.37 kilograms of 1.49 kilograms for the 13.3 inches and the 14 inches respectively. Now, when you look at an entry-level laptop, you have to focus on two things the minimum requirement of performance inside the laptop versus the beauty and design of it from the exterior. Indeed, this is not the latest top-line kind of service or hardware you're going to get. It's not a MacBook. It doesn't perform like a MacBook. But it does not charge you as much as a Microsoft Surface or a MacBook. The entry level price is 1799, that's 1800 ringgit. So it's pretty much competitive in terms of the pricing. What you're paying for the processor is actually an Intel Celeron processor. The version I have is the Intel Pentium. But would you pay 1,800 bucks PC for an Intel Celeron laptop? That's a big question because not many people out there in the market would pay for a Celeron laptop at this price. Uh, so what do you pay for? Well, I can tell you is that you're paying for the SSD. The system base right now offers 128GB SSD um, with a 4GB uh, DDR3 RAM and it does have a 720 front-facing HD webcam camera. So some of the hardware is indeed priced competitively for a 1800 Ringgit Intel Celeron chip. But when you scale up a little bit, then the pricing is hard to say justify. So long story short, if you're buying the lower end pricing at the 1,800 ringgit laptop pricing for the Intel Celeron, it makes a lot more sense because it's priced competitively. But on the higher end with the 256 gigabyte SSD RAM or the 500 gigabyte SSD RAM with an Intel Pentium pricing at about 4,000 ringgit, it becomes a little bit more untenable uh, to justify the price point because just add a little bit more and you're gonna get something better, either a Surface Pro or a MacBook uh, laptop outright. So that, those are the kind of things that you have to be considering on. Uh, remember, other competitive brands like HP and Asus does have their Celeron laptops priced at about 1,400 ringgit for their retail price. So do check those out. But the advantage for the Avita over the HP um, and ASUS laptops are the fact that the SSD performs a lot better as we know when you're hardwired, no moving parts for that matter. So when you have a 1 to 8 gigabyte SSD, you're going to have a little bit of an advantage over the normal hard drive rotation system that they have right now. Lenovo sells the Pentium CPU at about 1,700. But does these kind of laptops, other laptops have a 1080p HD? I'm not too sure. But what I do know is that the Avita laptop does have a 1080p display. Currently, I'm using a 13.3 inch MacBook. So I'm benchmarking that against the Avita 13.3 inch and it feels right about the same. The I.O. ports are quite interesting. They have a mini HDMI. It comes with a mini HDMI dongle. So you can have one mini HDMI cable right there. It also has a micro SSD card. Other I.O. ports include the most important USB type C, um, as well as two uh, USB type A ports. the key things that we want to highlight is on the large trackpad 
It's a lot larger than the MacBook Pro, for instance, trackpads at least twice the size. Um, but it does have what they call a springboard clicker. It does not have a butterfly click pad like you, you can find on a MacBook Pro. So it feels like a flipboard touch feel. It's, it tests better towards the lower end. It doesn't press as well at the top end of the touchpad. The feel of the keyboard is actually quite okay, quite smooth. I've tried writing an article outright on this laptop. It's pretty good and the look and feel is there as well. So those are the kind of the features on the hardware and internal of the laptop. Let's take a look into the uh, design of it. It does come in various colours, what we call candy-like colours. Uh, there's about eight uh, very vibrant, comprehensive colours if you're into the gold and also the pink and also the yellow. Uh, those are the kind of colours that you can opt for. Uh, the form factor is quite good. Contrast ratio is about 1000 to 1 and um, it does have quite okay speakers. I've tried it out again on, on playing some YouTube videos, Spotify. Uh, the speakers are pretty decent, not one of the best out there, but it's okay if you're paying for a thousand yen bucks for this kind of laptop. Um, it does run a Core i7 chip if you so choose to, uh, and the other variants are all there as well. All in all, this laptop is an okay entry level laptop. Uh, when it first retailed here in Malaysia, it went on a fire sale actually, uh, retailing at about 700 bucks. But of course, that fire sale is now no longer available. Uh, you're hitting about 1,800 to 4,000 ringgit in terms of the price point. Would I buy it? Probably, but I would probably buy the lower end instead of the upper end. Um, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and goodbye.